before you were born. Your father, your mother, was of this land. You are the keeper. The Buzzabim cultural landscape is located on the Buzzabim lava flow, which was the result of a volcanic eruption of Buzzabim Mount Eccles approximately 30,000 years ago. The, the creation story of the eruption of Bujbim created a fertile landscape that allowed the Gunjit Mara people to create one of the largest and oldest aquaculture systems in the world. The eruption shaped the landscape into an effective wetland area aided by solid basaltic rock. Around 6,000 years ago, the Gunjit Mara transformed these low-lying areas into a system of manipulated channels roughly 35 kilometers long that would direct water flow from Lake Conda into a system of traps. The traps, which function in both wet and dry seasons, were aided by Ganaraban, or specially made baskets. We lot rocks all along here, um, with the eel basket in the middle, and your rocks on top. You would lay the fish trap in the middle, um, with uh, your bigger end where the bigger eels are coming through. So you'll have the bigger eels will get stuck, and then the little ones will go through to the next pond. So what you're doing is you're catching the big ones and letting the little little ones go in the next pond for the next harvest and the next um, uh, until they're big enough to catch on the next um, fish trap. The baskets were hand woven from native grasses that grew generously in the Bujbim area, such as spear grass, cronin reed, and spiny head mat rush. Traditional tools to create the baskets included sharpened kangaroo leg bones and shoulder blades. The Ganaraban had small holes that allowed for younger eels to enter holding ponds while they would grow ready to be harvested while older eels were caught immediately. The knowledge needed to create technology realizes a deeper understanding of seasons and sustainability. The Gunjit Mara not only wished to feed themselves but the land they were attached to. Living alongside the land instead of taking from it, the dreamtime ecology does not separate the Gunjit Mara from their land, and the practice of traps allows the eels and Gunjit Mara to sustain one another indefinitely. It is nearly impossible to talk about the Gunjit Mara without discussing the eels. Their knowledge of the eels is intrinsically linked to their connection to place and cosmology. Their dreaming emphasizes the reciprocal nature of the relationship between the eels and the people. Western science seeks to detach nature from the individual, but the Gunjit Mara culture is founded on the connections between people and the land, both spiritually and practically. Instead of opposing Western science, the Gunjit Mara practice biology, ecology, sustainable farming, and food science as part of their daily lives, not as a separate practice reserved for scientists. Due to their long-time establishment in the Bunjbib area of Victoria, the Gunjit Mara were able to dis observe the landscape for many years adapting and creating new knowledge of the seasons and animals that allowed for sustained existence on the land. The Gunjit Mara, Bujbin, and the eels cannot be separated. The knowledge that describes and defines the three are one and the same. Try as Western science might to detach them.